Welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. Today I've got a treat for you. I'm going to go ahead and play one of our private mastermind group sessions. Some of you may have caught this if you're on that call, but we're going to be talking about ways that you can create an incredibly disciplined mindset through physical fitness. I hope you enjoy. I want to talk today about how to create more mental discipline through your physical fitness. You know, Jennifer brought this up last week, and I thought it was so important because one of the reasons I I don't talk about physical fitness a lot is because it's just kind of an automatic for me. It's something that I just do. Like I'm always, uh, you know, having a daily routine and it's beyond routine now. It's completely disciplined. I'm not saying I'm 100% disciplined, let's be really clear. Um, But I'm saying it has become a discipline throughout my life. I've been working out for years and years and years. And I think that that is, well, no, I know that is the number one reason I've been able to push through really, really difficult times. And I talk so much about mental discipline um, and mindset and personal development. And I talk a ton about entrepreneurial stuff because that's what I'm passionate about. But I want to be really clear. I'm extremely passionate about being physically fit. And there's a reason for that. It's not just, you know, mind, body, spirit. It's not just the idea to have, um, you know, all, all, all areas of your life balanced. It is literally the difference maker. And I think you're going to find that most successful people have some form of physical fitness routine out there. And, and, it's, and it's, it's a standard. It's a staple. It's a daily ritual. But it's also a strategy. It's a strategy to get out of a rut. It's a strategy to get rid of your mental rut or your physical rut or your financial rut. I'm not kidding you. You got to listen to me here when I say this. If you're having trouble with your finances, your relationship, your communication, your business, it doesn't matter. Physical fitness is something that can help you get out of it because this is the thing. I really believe, even thoughts don't necessarily do this. I really believe that your, your physical body is the only thing that you 100% control. You control what you put in your body for food. You control whether you exercise or not. And, and, and I understand that there are disabilities and, and things that sometimes you know are genetic and that you're born with, but that doesn't mean that you don't control what you do about it or how you work out or what you do for active lifestyle. I'm not talking about just weightlifting. I'm talking about having an active lifestyle um, and creating some type of physical fitness. I believe and, and you're going to find almost every successful person out there creates some part of some category of their life related to fitness. And I want to talk about it today as something that's going to help you create a disciplined mindset and, and e- accelerate your business and your growth by having that. Um, so, you know, I want you to just as a rhetorical question, except for if you happen to have your camera on, um, this is a rhetorical question. Um, circle of trust. You know, how many people, and ask yourself this question, how many people have a consistent fitness routine, a consistent fitness routine? Maybe, you know, make a comment in the chat or on Facebook. Um, I want you to be accountable to yourself for that because I want to ask you whether or not you have any kind of routine. I'm not saying do you get motivated once in a while to go for a walk or go to the gym, or sometimes I feel like drinking, you know, water like I should or eating right. Do you have anything that's a plan? Because just like finances, just like personal development, you have to have a plan for this to work. You have to have a plan in order for you to create you know, the, the routine, the discipline, and everything else. And I'm here to tell you that the, the mental discipline can come through the physical discipline because you control your body. So I want to talk to you today just really quick about, and I sometimes, you know, we, we say to ourselves, well, man, I already know this. And I, you know, these are the things. And as soon as I said physical fitness, many of you just checked out mentally. You're like, ah, go to the gym. No, I don't think so. Or, you know, give up my pizza and, and uh, sitting on the couch. No, I don't think so. But here's the thing I'm, I'm telling you, if you're struggling with your mindset, your finances, your business, your relationship, your communication, any of those things, it, it's going to be counterintuitive, but the simplest easiest, best thing you can do is to start moving your body because there's a direct correlation between your physical and your mental well-being. And I'm telling you, there's a direct correlation between your physical, mental, and financial, and professional, and relationship. Because when you can create discipline in the area that you have control over, that's when you can see some major, major, major gains. So let's talk about that for a second. What are the benefits? You know, there's the obvious. Um, The obvious is that you can 
you could be healthier, you can have more energy, you can be happier. Um, and and here's, here's some things maybe you haven't thought about. Um, things like you can create wins in your life. You know, some of you, how many of you are saying, God, man, I wish I could just get a freaking win. Like I got so many L's on the board. I just, I don't know what to do. How do I get a win? How do I kind of, how do I get some points on the board? And I'm here to tell you the simplest way to do that is through physical fitness and having a routine for your body. Um, if you're not, I mean, look, let's go back to 101. And that is the number one greatest asset you have is your health. And without it, you got nothing. So if you don't plan and execute and have daily rituals for your number one asset, all the rest of your assets aren't going to mean crap, you know? And, you know, this is probably going to be part of a podcast, so I'm not going to drop any F-bombs or anything like that. But when it comes to fitness, the bottom line is we, a lot of us with our mindset can inspire ourselves and motivate ourselves and, and, you know, and all those things. But sometimes you just have to pure gut it up and motivate yourself to do things physically. But the bottom line is you will have more energy. You will have more health. You will be happier. You will be more filled. But here's the secret ingredient people don't think about. They don't draw the two together. It's partially because, remember, our brains and our minds are trying to protect us from things that hurt us. And physical fitness and things are not comfortable. And it's outside our comfort zone from a physical point, but a mental point and everything. But I'm here to tell you that if you create a routine for fitness, you're going to have an unbelievable ability to create mental discipline, mental discipline. Because if you create discipline and fitness, you're going to be able to create mental discipline. And I know this because I can, you know, we, we talk about being aware of your, you know, of your mind and what your thoughts are. Well, man, there's no better place to be aware of your thoughts than when you're working out. Um, you know, it might be getting out of bed and going, ah, man, you're looking outside because maybe you just go for a walk and you're like, I don't want to put my shoes up. It's raining outside today. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, or my buddies and I joke a lot because we always say, ah, you know, it's Monday. I'll start over on Monday. Um, <clears throat> and we don't joke because we're doing things we shouldn't do, just to be clear. Um, but, you know, everybody says that. It's like, I'll start the first of the year. I'll start on Monday. See, it's that mental piece that's holding you back because we already know we're going to have more energy. We're going to be more fulfilled. We're going to be happier. But there's a mental discipline correlation. I told you there's a mind and body connection. If you can't get your mind to get out of this rut and you can't get your mind to get better, you can do it indirectly through creating a discipline of fitness or eating right or drinking more water. And we'll talk about that stuff in a minute. But you've got to create discipline in some area. And let's be honest, there's really only one area that you 100% control, and that's your body. Nobody can force you to eat things. Nobody can force you to work out or not work out. It's all on you. And don't tell me you don't have time. Because going, just standing up uh, and going for a walk a couple times a day, just, um, you know, doing cardio, just, I mean, there's, there's, and we're going to be talking about that later as well. There's things you can do at home. There's things you can do at the gym. There's things you can do around your neighborhood. There's things you can do even if you're isolating yourself and you're by yourself in your house and you don't want to go around people because of COVID-19. I mean, there's so many things you can do, but it's mental discipline. And here's the secret ingredient I was going to tell you. When you can create mental discipline, It'll help fix one of the number one problems that we have out there right now. And I'm talking about the number one problem with your business, the number one problem with your finances, the number one problem with your relationships, the number one problem with your mindset. It's your self-esteem. It's your self-confidence. And I know that those are two different things. I've had a podcast on the difference between self-esteem and confidence. But remember, one of the key ingredients is you don't fix self-esteem and confidence with things outside of yourself. That's what we're all trying to do with Instagram and Facebook and business and get recognition and have other people and get money and cars and clothes and all, all this crap. You only build self-confidence and self-esteem internally. And if you're struggling with your mind, then jump into the body and get something moving. You know, and, and it doesn't take a lot. We're going to talk about that. But it, it, it just little gains, little wins. Remember, it's stacking little wins that, get, that win the day. It's, it's winning with your morning routine that helps you win the day. It's winning that day that helps you win the week. It's winning that week that helps you win the, the, the year. And you've got to be patient. But here's the thing. I, I'm telling you that getting a fitness physical activity routine will help you with your self-confidence and your self-esteem. It's one of the best strategies. When I'm feeling like I'm in a rut or I'm depressed or whatever, I will just get up and I'll move. Just move. 
Because when motion creates emotion, creates energy, creates results. And results increase your belief. And your belief increases, your confidence increases. So you do more. And all of a sudden you get more results and your belief increases more. And now you get more confidence. It's a, it's a self-perpetuating deal that you control, that you control. And make no mistake, I don't care if you're crushing it in your business. If you have no physical discipline of your own body, this is why people lose confidence because they're breaking all these little promises to themselves. They're, they're not willing to do what they feel like and know they want to do. I'm too busy. I got too many things going on. I don't have a gym membership. I, you know, I work too much. I, I mean, I'm telling you, I can give you example after example after example of people that work three jobs, multiple kids. I'm a single dad. Like I, y- there's so many things going on, but if you find time for fitness, the rest will happen. The rest will happen. And that's why I'm hitting this so hard. Now, look, here's the deal. There are some key elements that I think you've got to include in your daily rituals. They're not difficult, but they're things that I think can help you. Um, things like right off the bat, before I give you any other suggestions, I would say, find your triggers. What are the things that trigger you to get motivated to go do something? It might be a picture. It might be a goal. It might be a song. You know, some of us, when we play a certain song or music, it just pumps us up, right? Um, you might, you might listen to like Rocky music or something, or you might listen to a song that just reminds you of what it is. Or maybe it's a song that reminds you of being when you were the best shape of your life. Find your trigger. Maybe it's a picture. Maybe it's a quote. You know, I have a quote right on the mirror in my bathroom that says, you are only as strong as your weakest habits. And it reminds me, it's like, ah, man, I can't like dog that, even though I'm, I feel pretty disciplined. I feel like I'm in good shape. I mean, next month I'll be 50 and I, I, I can lift and exercise and I'm more in better shape than people half my age. So I feel good about that, but I can't let up because I know if I let up physically, mentally, it all creeps in eventually. Um, So find your triggers and have them readily accessible. Also be prepared, prepare yourself. If you know you struggle in the mornings, lay your workout clothes out ahead of time. If you know you have a hard time, get a trainer, get a workout partner, be accountable, put it in your calendar, you know, schedule a walk, schedule time. You've got to force yourself and put boundaries up to make you do these things or you're not going to do them. Let's face it, you would have already done them. And these have got to become routine and habit. But in addition to triggers and, and, and forcing yourself through boundaries, I would say, and I'm telling you right now, fitness is probably more important than even some of the stuff you're telling yourself works, like mindset, personal development, reading, things like that. That stuff might get your mind going, but if you have no physical discipline, you don't have mental discipline. Let's be clear. Physical discipline will help you to create success and results. So I want you to be thinking about the idea of a fitness program of some kind, a nutrition program of some kind, and water. And water seems really stupid, and it really seems simple, and some people overlook it, but, you know, your brain is like 90% water. And so if you're having trouble with your thoughts, and you're having trouble with brain fog, and you're having all this, the, the, the simplest, easiest thing anyone can do is drink more water. Drink more water. It'll help your brain. It'll help your mind. It'll help your body. It'll give you more energy. It fills you up more so you don't eat and snack as much. Force yourself. You know, I've had, I've had to, to get into that habit. I've had to force myself to drink, you know, 32 ounces of water before I could have an energy drink or something like that. And then I'm just not as thirsty, right? Or force yourself to pound a bunch of water before you eat your meal and you won't eat as much. Drink a lot of water get some type of a nutrition plan. And we're going to talk about that because I got some stuff coming down the pipe for the uh, mastermind here in the next couple of weeks Um, and a fitness routine. And I'm telling you, all it needs to be is activity. If it's go for a walk every day, start with a walk. If it's, you've got a gym, go work out. If you're just going to the gym and listen, don't fall into this trap of, you know, 90% is showing up. That's crap too. 90% of the gym is not showing up. Showing up doesn't mean a whole lot. That's a cop out. It's moving. 90% 90% is moving. Move somewhere. I'd rather you moved and, and, and walked around your block than didn't do anything. But try to do it daily. You've got to have movement daily. And you watch and see what will happen with your mindset when you move every single day, when you drink more water, when you try to eat more healthy. And this is the other thing. I'm, I'm going to suggest one thing, and that is, so I downloaded this app, Lose It. And there's a lot of apps out there. You don't need to use this one, but it's an app called Lose It. And, and the thing about mobile apps, besides the fact that all of us are on our phone 90% of the day, is if you don't have something, that's my way. I have a meditation app. I've got a fitness app. I've got a journal app. 
and they pop me little reminders throughout the day. So I don't ever have to think about it. Some of you are like, man, I got enough shit to worry about. Like I got to now put a work, work hour. No, you just got to put it in your schedule. Most of us on this call and listening all are very, very busy people. And I would dare say most entrepreneurs have a calendar or a Google calendar or a schedule. Put it in your freaking schedule. If you have to remind yourself to drink water, put it in there. The, the thing, then you don't have to worry about it. That's why I have spreadsheets and things. I don't think about things. I just put them in there and then I have to do them. Um, but I would say this Lose It app is great because it tracks my meals. And it's so easy now because all I, I mean, I literally, I don't even, I used to have trouble tracking my meals. But remember, what you measure grows. What you track, you're focused on. And so I track my meals um, so that I can see my calories because when you're tracking things, you're more conscious of it and you do better. You know, that, that's one thing that's really a good benefit. But now it's so easy because this app, I'll take it out and I'll click it and I'll just scan the barcode on whatever I'm eating and it logs it all in. I don't have to do anything. I'll just scan the barcode, scan the barcode, um, change the portion size and it's in. I literally have, and it tracks my water, my food, my workouts. It tells me if I'm over under. And, and the cool thing about it is if I've eaten like last night, I had a, a buddy's birthday party and he made all this like homemade blueberry pie and stuff. And I'm like, crap, man, that's like 200 extra calories on the row machine. But, um, but I know what I'm doing and I don't have to think about it. See, it's, it's better not to worry and think about things. And if you can put things in place to help you do that, that'll be huge. So a little bit of nutrition, a little bit of water. Um, and I'm going to leave, leave one more element, and that is recovery. It's very, very important that if you're doing any kind of physical exercise, just like mental exercise, just like work and finance and everything else, you got to have recovery. Because remember, the growth is in recovery. It's not in stressing the muscles. It's when the muscles that recover that grow. And, and it's sort of like I've got a program that I did a while back called The Corporate Athlete. So many of us, and this, this principle can apply to fitness as well as your business. So many of us, stress ourselves and stress ourselves and stress ourselves in business, but we never recover. So we never really grow. You know, if you look at professional athletes, look at how much they are on the field grinding versus the amount of time they put into recovery. And yet a corporate athlete, a corporate athlete goes out there, you know, hundred hours a week and doesn't even rest. And they think that they're going to grow and they're not going to grow. Same goes with your fitness. If you're going to go out and work out or, or stress yourself, you've got to put a little effort into recovery because recovery is when you grow. So recovery is important as well as an element. Now, I'm going to make a couple of suggestions to you because we're short on time here. One is keep it simple. Keep it simple. Start with something. It's like I said when I did my uh, podcast on daily rituals. Don't try to do like, oh, mind, body, spirit, meditation, affirmations, workout. I'm doing my journal and my, you know, my prayer and my reading. Like, no, dude, I would rather you were consistent with one thing, going for a walk every day, getting in, you know, 10 or 12 glasses of water, whatever it is. Start simple. Number two, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Remember, we overestimate the things we can do in the short term and we underestimate what we could do long term. So many people start out the first of the year or their programs like out like, you know, I would rather they burn out too fast. I would rather you started with one little thing for a week and then added another thing for a week and then added another thing for a week. Think about that in terms of bigger blocks. I'm going to start drinking extra water every day. And then next week, I'm going to go for a walk every day. And then next week, I'm going to add this and you're compounding these things. And before you know it, because trust me, we all know. Before you know it, 30 days will go by, 60 days go by. We're going to start the first of the year. But what would it be like to be starting the first of the year with a cool fitness routine? What would it be like to be starting the year rather than starting a new fitness routine or a new, you know, I want to lose weight. I want to get in shape. I mean, bottom line is 90% of us can get in better shape. 90% of us are overweight for where we need to be. 90% of us are not physically active like we should. And we wonder why our finances are messed up. We wonder why our mindset's so screwed up. It's because we know this. Our self-esteem is messed up because we're not doing what we need to do. And so be simple and be patient. But the most important thing is to be consistent and do whatever you can do to make that consistent. Get an app, get a reminder, put it in your calendar, find an accountability partner, track it. You've got to find a way to do this. And here's the thing. There is zero excuses people have. I have people like, well, I wouldn't know where to start. Great. Let me tell you about this really amazing tool. And it's crazy because like you may not have heard of it. It's called Google. Google what I could do from home. Google top five apps for fitness. Google how much water I should have. 
Google, what should my nutrients or macros be? Meaning like what's your protein, carbohydrates and, and fat you should have? Google it. Like there's no freaking excuse for not working out. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I'm in a hotel all the time. Great. Google what exercises I could do in a hotel. Like, come on guys, you've got to get your fitness in line. You've got to get your, your body in line. You're trying so hard to discipline yourself mentally. You're trying so hard to discipline your business. You're trying so hard to discipline your finances and you don't even work out. You're not even healthy. You're unhealthy. And you don't think that affects your mindset. You don't think that affects your finances, your business, your relationship, your communication. You don't think that's why you're jealous when people look better. You don't think that's why you have no self-esteem when you see all these Instagram models. It's because of you. It's not because of them. And, and the other thing, I, it's funny because my son, Jaron, who's 15, and he's crushing it in the gym. I mean, he's really pushing me along. Um, he sent me this little recording. He actually got interviewed on a podcast. I don't even know how that happened. Um, he got interviewed. And one of the things he said on the interview was crazy. I'm like, wow, this kid's got some things going on. He said, too many people worry about what they look like when they go to the gym. He said, too many people worry about what they look like when they're not fit. And they need to remember something. And he said this, and it's so true. Nobody's thinking about you. Nobody gives a crap about you. They're thinking the same thing about themselves. Am I in good enough shape? Am I good? Stop worrying about everyone else and start worrying about and caring about your own self-esteem and confidence more than what other people freaking think of you. Who cares what other people think of you? Who cares if you're not already where you want to be? Just make progress. Remember, the, it's not about getting to the destination. It's about winning every day that makes you feel good. Because I can tell you, athlete after celebrity, after author, after successful business CEO that I've met that have hit levels that are totally depressed and anxious and everything else, because it wasn't about the level. It's about the journey and the process and the growth. That's what it's about. And I'm telling you, everything else we're talking about, business, finance, mindset, personal growth, relationships, it starts with your physical fitness. And I don't talk about it enough because it's just a routine for me. And believe me, I'm nowhere in the shape I want to be right now. I'm probably like, you know, 18% body fat. I need to be closer to like 12. I mean, I've never had a six pack, but I can guarantee them to you this. I will, I will have one by the first of the year because I've made the commitments and I know what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it. And, and it's going to force me to make discipline and work. And it's funny. It's like when you train for an objective or you train for a goal, it motivates you in the short term. Some of you need to have a goal like that. Some of you need to let people know you're trying to get in shape so that they can start razzing you a little bit and making you feel uncomfortable. So here's the thing. That's the, the number one thing I wanted to make sure that I, I really emphasize to you today, if you take anything else away, is if you want to fix any area of your life, personal business, finance, communications, relationships, mindset, mental rut, you know, no money, no job, whatever it is, start with the body, start moving. You'll get more energy. You'll have more thoughts. Some of my best thoughts come when I'm working out, um, when I'm trying to, you know, when I'm not trying to breathe uh, to keep up. So try, try this and make this happen. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be launching into the academy. I got a couple of pretty exciting things coming up. We have three core components we're going to be adding to our academy. And uh, one is my personal trainer, Jeff Cameron. He was the double for uh, Tom Cruise and Top Gun. Uh, he was the, the, the body double, stunt double, whatever you call it. Um, and he has been in the business for, you know, I don't know, 30 years plus. I'll get his resume, but he's been the judge of uh, the local bodybuilding. So, I mean, he's had, a, he has a system called Personal Fitness Systems, which is how to get started and how to figure out where you are, where you're going, how to create a routine. He's going to come in, we'll do a podcast, but he's going to offer some nutritional or uh, some fitness plan and programs and things that you can be able to utilize to create something for yourself. Second, got a really good friend of mine. Uh, Cesar Nascimento, who was the gold medalist in Taekwondo in Brazil. He just joined our mastermind group and he is going to be coming in with some home fitness and self-defense techniques. He teaches all over the world. He's got a studio in, in Beverly Hills right now, um, but his name is uh, Cesar Nascimento. I'll, I'll, I'll send some links, but he's a, a, a world renowned expert in Taekwondo, but his mindset and fitness and how to become a warrior and how to become a, a superhero. Some of you have probably seen him because his little and I don't even know, I think he's one, like two years old. His little baby is the one on TikTok that's super baby. 
um, who does all these like little Taekwondo kicks and stuff. Cause he's been training them to be, to be basically the superhero of your own life. Because if you can get yourself physically fit, you can do anything. And uh, so Caesar's going to come on board. We also have a couple of dietitians and, and nutrition experts. So I'm going to be really bringing in some resources that if you're part of the academy, you will have all of those included. Um, but we'll be getting some of that general information on the podcast as well. But I'm going to do that to kind of help you and take you to the next level. So that's my message for today. I can't overemphasize enough physical fitness. Um, I think it's going to be the difference maker for you. And right now is the time to do it before the new year. I want you to be through the, you know, stretching and, and soreness and some of those kind of things. So in the first of the year, you can kick it in the butt and really go to the next level with your food, your diet. And I want you to be dialing in the first of the year, not starting the first of the year. And you've got about 45 to 60 days to make that happen. So let's do it. And here's the deal. It'll take you through these holidays because the holidays could be a stressful, difficult time for people, both business, emotionally, mentally, and nothing will help you get through it like your physical fitness. So that's my, that's my message for today. I look forward to, um, everyone else uh any questions you have make sure you hit me up share that message with others and 